Hi, everyone. Welcome. This is Karen Newman, and this is the Saturday Human Colony Hukula webinar. It is Saturday, June the 1st, 2019. And today we have a very special webinar. It's not a channeling webinar per se, but of course, light language is channeled. So we're going to be focusing on light language. We have a very special guest. Her name is Anna Nunez. And you, if you're in the Keeper of the Codes group on Facebook, or if you been following uh, light language you may know who Anna is she's from Portugal but I'll come back to her in just a moment but I just want to say to you hi and welcome so okay um, just to introduce who's in the room I'll say we have Barbara Christine Dawn uh, guiding light Jen Laue, Laue I, I hope I'm saying it right uh, Lucia Reinhard Selesh and myself and there's some other people popping in and out we're going to be expecting so I think it's going to be a full room if you're in the watching in the YouTube um, the link for the hangouts is uh, is on the is in the chat so if you want to pop in you're definitely welcome we have room for 25 so there's still some space to come in uh, just to uh, do some little housekeeping announcements uh, I'll do mine first and I'll bring uh, Micheline in to uh, to do hers uh, we have coming up in August on the 8th through the 12th the fourth ascension workshop for Hukalo it'll be taking place in Rochester New York and if you're interested in participating in that it's $575 for those nights and it includes all your food lodging and all of the courses classes and activities that will take place during the ascension workshop it's with Max and Jim there might be a surprise teacher or two as well as just some really good fun with everybody you can go to hukala.org to find out about that information also on amazon.com you can buy the book that was written by Jim and Max it's a culmination of several years of channeling uh, talking about everything from light languages to alien races to whatever you need to know about starting your spiritual path. It's come is called From the Galaxy with Love, a Lightworkers Handbook. And you can get that as a Kindle book, you can get it as a uh, audio book and also as a printed copy. So please check it out on Amazon.com. Okay, also on Fridays uh, with Ian in our group Hukalo channeling practice if you're an aspiring channel or would like a safe place to channel with just good friends it's not public but it's open to the members of that group it's free you can join the Hukalo channeling group so check that out as well and also now Micheline has a um, has an announcement about an upcoming uh, upcoming workshop coming up why don't you tell everyone about it Thank you, Karen. Um, this is a, a power healing, heart-centered, really focus on healing weekend starting June 21st, 22nd, 23rd um, in Canada, 30 minutes outside of Ottawa, the capital. And um, Jim Charles is, uh, will be joining us for that weekend. He'll be um, part of all activities starting on Friday, June 21st, um, starting with um, There'll be some introductions done and uh, channeling and chanting, and I will be playing the piano. Um, um, I'll be accompanying. So it, it should be real, a really nice time together to, uh, to get us grounded. And on the Saturday is a full day of galactic energy healing with certification with uh, Takur, Jim, and Angie. Then on the Sunday, we've got um, more channeling and some galactic energy healing practicing. And to, to um, finish off that, the weekend, we will be um, assisting a crystal bowl concert. And so it's a full weekend. Lunches are included with snacks. Everything is vegan, um, prepared by a raw chef. Should be a really nice time together. And we've had a few cancellations. It was full, it was sold out for several weeks. And at the last minute, we've got three spaces available. And so we invite you to, um, uh, we have a Facebook page. And so why don't you go on the Facebook page called Heart and Solstice and all information is there. Um, it's $333 Canadian. And uh, yes, please, uh, if you have, if you know, if the heart says, if you feel a pull at your heart, please come and um, at least start perusing through that uh, Facebook page and then you can contact me directly. Thank you. Thank you. We'll announce it again at the end, but it's Heart and Solstice on Facebook. And if you're interested and you feel like being yeah, there in Canada, if you're able to, definitely join that sounds really wonderful so yeah and thanks. hanging out with Jim and Angie too so it's a lot yeah. of fun to be around Jim even though when he's not channeling get to know him 
it's a yes. lot of fun. And so, uh, yes, please uh, contact us if you have, you know, if you have, even if you're just a little bit curious. So, um, and I can, you know, I'm very happy to just even talk to you over the phone if, uh, um, if you have any questions. Yeah. So thank you. So, thank you so much. Okay, perfect. Okay, so normally we start with a blessing before we do anything. So I pulled my ear set out, so nobody start doing any blessings. But is there anybody who wants to do a blessing before we get going? If you do, just shout it out. We'll do it. Or anyone? 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 Pamela, sure. I'm going to keep you muted if you're not talking. Go ahead, Micheline, you can do the blessing. All right. Okay. okay. Um, Wendy, I'm going to keep you muted if you're not talking. So, yeah. Everyone, just for the people that are in the room, much love to you, but um, we have to keep the microphones muted if you're not directly talking because it just creates a little bit of um, feedback. And, and so for the recording and for the people on the YouTube, it's even worse. So um, please mute and unmute yourself uh, when you're when you're talking. Thank you. Okay, Lucia, go ahead. Ashosini akala shalasi, ano makarashi, asona akala shasona, akoshosili anoka ashosoni miniki, ashosili asala, ashala anoma akashosoni isiliki, ashosini akala sha. Namaste. <laughs> I'm muting and I'm muting myself. Namaste. Is there anyone else I wanted to do a blessing? Me, yeah. Who's May I? Who says that? Me, Anna. Yes, sure, of course. Go ahead. Hello, everyone. Thank you for the, this opportunity, and thank you for those who are participating um, and the audience. Hui ita are ere shuhutu iti ara are ere. Hui ita are. So this is source. Hui ita are ere shuhutu iti ara are ere. Hui iara ara huru iara ere. Hushi ite ara, huari iriero, anti hashe oro, hushuari ti kara handi eri oro, untu iti ara ero, hari ara shero, ata oro oro, iti ara hero, hushurara. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have an interpretation? Do you get interpretations for what you get, or do you do you just let it through? Um, usually I hear. Um, to do it sometimes i feel it yeah and uh sometimes i get information okay uh, i hear and i see things and lately i don't know maybe for this last few, few weeks uh i started to feel when is um a, a feminine energy when is a masculine energy and in even I've, I've i've started to feel a little bit more uh what it is Perfect. So, so since maybe there's some people here, we've got uh, some people here that know you from the Keepers of the Code group on Facebook, um, and then some people who are part of our normal human colony group that are also part of that group, and then some people who probably don't know you, and especially in the watching in the YouTube chat. So, for everyone, um, I would like to introduce you to Anna Nunes. She is a light language uh, phenom, I would say. She has uh, Thank you. Had, a, had a huge awakening in light language. She brings through beautiful information. Um, what especially uh, appealed to me when I first saw you is your the fact that you were constantly getting information for different people and you were doing activations and you were very clear on what it was you were doing um, because a lot of people are doing light language and it's beautiful but they're not getting the knowledge of where it's directed where the energy is going and so I, I just think you're having it on a sort of other level um, so maybe you can tell tell us sort of a little bit about your spiritual journey and how you you know starting with uh starting with uh, how do you say it? Just your interest, because I, I I did a little research on you, I, what I could find, and you do a lot with like tarot and oracle cards and things like that. Yes. But light language for you is is quite recent, from what I understand. So maybe you can sort of give that give that history and, and tell us a little bit about who you are. Um, so my awakening started in 2013, and it was uh, unexpected. I remember that time I was 
finishing my depression therapy. And when I was finishing that, that's when my spiritual journey happened very naturally. And it was with Archangel Metatron. And then it took me, I don't know, I think two years. It was very, very slow process. So I started to um, focus a little bit more uh, on the spiritual world with the things that already I, I already um, was curious about. So I started with all readings and then with the title and oracles. And um, I started doing light language last year. It was with Kalina Melnar, I saw, I watched one of her videos and uh, I told my guys, I wanna learn that. And I started to manifest that. And a few uh, months later, I was doing light language. I started with the gestures, then with the tones and sounds, melodies. Then uh, in the beginning of this year, I started to drawing and then singing. And I do, I do a lot of things right now. Uh, my light language is evolving a lot, uh, a little bit fast, because I keep uh, praying for that. I keep uh, wishing to evolve because I am doing a lot of amazing things with light language, not only for others, but also for myself, because I use it uh, on myself. And even with light language, I am remembering past lives something that I want as well. And it's, to me right now, it's a beautiful instrument. I can do so many things. I never thought in my life that I would be That's doing right. this. Yes, it yeah. is. And what my, no, go ahead, sorry. Finish, finish my, your clairvoyance, my clairvoyance is actually developing with uh, that, something that I also manifested. Yeah. And it's amazing the things that I see. <laughs> yeah, what what's interesting to me, and um, maybe you maybe you can talk about this as well, is that I started speaking light language when I was fifteen, and the way that I started speaking it is people in a circle around me were speaking it, and then it came out of me. Mm -hmm. And what is interesting about the light language light languages is, is that the activation people get is from hearing the language, and really that's the you know that's the only thing that really has to happen i mean people have to open up and do their thing but most of the time it comes through the contact through the the actual hearing of it people hear it and then all of a sudden they're activated as well and so do you have any thoughts around why that is or how that works i think it's divine timing mm -hmm. um we all have our own spiritual path and whatever it is destined because I wasn't, I, I didn't know who Kalina was. Mm. And somehow everything and everyone has to captivate me. So I remember that on that video, I don't know what video it was. Uh, the title of the video uh, captivated me. So I started to listen to her. And when she was doing light language, I just love it. So I think it's uh, what is supposed to happen. And at the same time is... Um, about uh, our journey, how we evolve. And I think at the time I wanted to do something different because I was also working my business and um, things weren't, uh, they weren't uh, working the way that I wanted to. So um, it just happened very naturally. I think it happens when it's supposed to happen, when we are ready to go a little bit more further with uh, whatever we want. Right. So for you, because everybody has a different understanding of what their, their, the origin of their light language is, what you know, the source of it is, um, do you have any information on yours? Is it angelic language? Is it uh, extraterrestrial? Or are you speaking many languages? What's your? Many. What's your, yeah. Uh, I know a few. I know it is, it's angelic from source. Uh, source uh, Mother and Father in Heavens, and also Source uh, uh, One. And then uh, from my home planet, from inner Earth, there's Sirius, there, there's Arcturians, there's, um, there's different uh, type of languages that, that I speak. I don't consciously, I don't know uh, how many and where, uh, but uh, yes, different yeah. ones, yes. 
There's a question from Barbara. She's saying, uh, if you don't practice like language, will you lose it? I have an answer for that, but please answer the, the question. I don't think so. I think the moment that you access, uh, you don't forget it. Uh, I, I know at least uh, in one case, it was one of the Keepers uh, webinar participants. He said once that he stopped doing light language for a while. And then uh, after that time, he started to speaking again. So I don't think you, you, you forget it. You just simply, for whatever reason, you have that period of time where you need that pause. Yeah. So I don't think you forget it. Yeah, I, I haven't, I mean, I've, I go times where I don't use it or utilize it at all, but um, I, like I, I'm in my 50s, my early, early 50s, but I'm in my 50s and I've been speaking since I was 15 and it's never gone anywhere. And I will say it has developed and changed even when I'm even in the not usage of it, it still kind of keeps developing, but it develops as I develop spiritually as well. And so my understanding of it also has has shifted and changed to what I thought it was as to what it has become. And, you know, so I think that the answer is no <laughs> to the answer. To no, you honest, don't use it. To be honest with you, we all know light language. Like yeah. Helena said once, I think it was her, uh, light language is the language of our soul. Mm -hmm. So we speak light language, but because we are in this plane with different levels and different experiences and other things, we have to evolve to reach a certain level for us to start to speak light language. That's how I feel, that's how I understand so far uh, about this. So we all speak it uh, in different ways. We all speak it in, and express it in our own way. So we all know light language. All you need yeah. to do is uh, evolve um, and want what is uh, work and want what is best for us. And then with time things uh, evolve to a different level. I will say that um, it's only been maybe three or four years that I've really started to see people doing hand motions with their light language, <laughs> truly. Um, and as a person who's spoken it and been around people that have spoken it for many years, um, I, I, it was, it's a new phenomena, really, I think. So in your mind, what do you, what do you believe? Now, what was, I'll just say this, what was very interesting is because your camera has a little delay on it, which is allowing us to sort of see, stop movement of your gestures. So when you were gesturing, you were getting the sort of, you were getting to see the, the hands and everything moving in a sort of slow motion that created a, you could see, you know, you, you could still sort of, sort of see the last hand motion as it was moving this way, which was very nice, I think, because then you kind of see the trails of the energy movement. But what is it that you, because you got the hand motions first, you said. Yes. So was that spontaneous? Did you just start? Yes. Yeah, so can you yes. talk about that a little bit? I remember I was manifesting with my vision boards and um, I just started to do the gestures. And then what it came into my mind was like language. And then I said, okay, I think I don't remember seeing anyone doing uh, with the, uh, Kalina, she does the, the gestures. So uh, I trusted information and um, for, I think for a few months, uh, I. I w the main my main light language let's put it that way was just the gestures just mm -hmm. the gestures and the information that I was receiving uh, and it was just that it's very natural it's very intuitive don't ask me what I'm doing sometimes I notice that um, it started this year that I am writing uh, in the air let's put it that way so I just noticed that I'm doing like little symbols I'm drawing something and it's it's funny and, and it's it's very interesting yeah there's a phenomena in in hinduism and with with monks and with people who are very into meditation that they will spontaneously start doing mudras with their hands mm -hmm. and things that they never anticipated before in such a deep sort of state they will just start doing and also with their bodies they will contort and do all things with their hands and stuff and i'm and i'm quite sure they're probably related uh, in some way shape or form but it's it's a uh, 
the energy movement and the connectivity that we have with our sort of divine energy, we, we are pulling in, we're pulling in, pushing out and manipulating those sort of energy streams, I, I, I believe. Um, I, I saw a wonderful, it's posted on my Facebook, but there's a wonderful video of a girl, a ballerina dancing, and they show around her body. I think I got it off your page, Anna, if I'm, if I'm true. I don't remember that. She's dancing and she's got geometric shapes around her. And it's showing that as she's spinning, how the geometric shapes are moving. Like, like you'll have like an isosceles kind of triangle and it's moving around her body. And when she moves around like this, the, the triangle shape stretches and moves. And it also is showing um, energy as it moves through three-dimensional space in even fourth dimensional space truly as it starts to spin and i and i really when i saw that i was like you know there's really no difference between that and sort of the light language things that people are doing with their hands and they're creating these you know movements and especially when when people are doing things like healing and they're you know they're pushing the energy or pulling the energy and i think it's so intuitive um for people to do it just as it comes out of them, especially as, it, just like light language comes out with really no conscious idea of what's being said. You might have the feeling or the emotion around it, but you're not doing a translation word for word of, of another language. It's more of an energy projection into the, into the world and, and moving that energy, letting the energy come in and come out. Um, I'm a big proponent of sound and and sound is a vibration uh, for transformation and light language is just sound, you know, but also movement is a vibration which is sound. And on some level, there's a sound created that's not audible for us by these motions because this vibration is different. So that's my thought on it. I don't know if you have any comments about that. I never thought about that actually, but I just closed my eyes yeah. and um, what you are saying, it makes sense. What they are showing me is that there's definitely a, a frequency, but it's a silent frequency, probably um, only specific beings, let's, let's put it that way, they can hear. But I never thought about that, but, but it, does, it does make sense. It's, it's another way of communicating, uh, communication. So. For those who know light language, there are different types of life of light language. There's the, um, the gestures, there's the writing, there's the, the paintings, there's the sound, there's different types of light language. So they are all different ways of communication. Um, but what you are saying, it makes sense. And what they show me um, confirms uh, your theory or your thoughts about mm -hmm. that. Yay. <laughs> yeah. So you said your guide. So who is it that you're working with? Who are they that you're checking? I have no with? idea. <laughs> okay. I have an idea. Um, no idea. Uh, someone, uh, two people once told me that, um, two or three, that uh, one of my guides is an Equatorian. So I'm going to trust information. <laughs> yeah. But the others, I have, I have no idea. Okay. I have no idea. Okay. So when you're working now, because now you're doing, you're teaching light language as well as yes. doing like, uh, doing healings and things like that. So when you're teaching, what is it that you're trying to convey? What is it you're trying to, um, you know, uh, elicit from the people that, that have come to you? What are you actually teaching them? That's my question. What I'm teaching them, I'm not. I'm not really sure um, what it is, but I remember um, when Max invited me uh, for the keepers webinar. I declined the first one because I didn't know what it was, and then yeah. later I realized what it was, and that's uh, something that I wanted to do: be able to work with others and uh, in light language and develop more and know people who are doing exactly the same thing for me. So I remember my first webinar, which was the second Keepers uh, webinar. Um, at the time, I was um, doubting the fact that I was speaking light language. And the fact that I was hearing Anne-Marie and others speaking light language, it gave me courage 
and motivation to speak that language. And that group uh, in that day, they helped me with that. Mm -hmm. So I want to be able to do exactly the same thing that those people did for me. Uh, for those who follow the keepers, the webinars, they know that Don and Reinhardt, they, um, they were the rookies. They were the ones who were uh, learning. Reinhardt is speaking that language quite well, uh, I must say, and Don is, is, is speaking more. So be, being able to help others uh, who, are, who have doubts, who have fears, who are confused about uh, their light language, I think that place, that webinar, uh, even others, there's other, other people who are doing uh, something like us, um, it's, it's a good place to connect with others who are speaking like language and at the same time develop, learn, teach. Because um, I teach like language and I help others, but I, I have the same feedback from others. And I think light language is a very beautiful tool. I am discovering and loving even more light language. So I think it is a good uh, place to help others the same way that others help me with my light, light, light language. So that's something that I'm doing with the heart. Oh, very nice. So, <laughs> so when you because you went from speaking like a language to actually because I think I was at that second. I think that was the one. It's a little bit later for me. I go to bed early, so three kind of third, yes. Yeah, I don't think I, I I can't stick around for it. But that second one, I think, was one of the first ones you were in, and one of the first things you started spontaneously doing was calling out the different people <laughs> and sending them activations and you know and 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 working on the different blocks that you saw you were getting a message about what was the block you were getting like a sort of i would say word of knowledge in in english and then sharing with them and then proceeding to speak your light language do your you know do your light language in, uh, on all the levels yes. and remove and you know intuitively what you thought was the block and um, I know for a couple of the people that were in the in the room that they also experienced the release of whatever it was you were working on. So how did that start for you? Was that just spontaneous or do you know what I mean? Yes. So, yeah, I don't understand. It yeah. was natural. It was intuitive. To be honest with you, um, if I was doing this a few years ago, I wouldn't. Um, I probably wouldn't do it. Uh, I am a very different person than I was uh, years ago. I've been doing inner work and it happened very naturally. When I hear, uh, when, uh, when I hear specific information about specific people or when someone is speaking like language but no one else knows what it is and I hear uh, an information uh, to go to help that specific person I start doing the light language and then uh, I start hearing information of what it is. It happens very naturally, very intuitively. And it's also about trusting uh, the information that I am receiving and the messages that I am receiving. Yeah. That's the first, that's the first part of any kind of intuitive work. You have to just trust the information and not judge it and not, you know, try to, to make it anything different, but just really Yes, say it and and you get it. You get it. You tell me that sometimes I doubt. Sometimes yeah. I'm, uh, I am afraid. But then, when it comes to my work, um, I trust. I trust uh, the voices that I hear. I, I trust them. Yeah. And um, later, um, I realize I am glad that I trusted. I'm glad that I did it. Yeah. Because it it makes the 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 whole difference trusting whatever we are hearing feeling etc yeah yeah that's the that's the biggest that's that is the learning and that is the mastery that you will continue to gain as you just let things that's what being a channel is is just allowing things to flow through you without any judgment about them without questioning it and just giving it as you hear it in the purest sense because it's, it's because it's really not about you it's about the information that needs to go to that that person yes. or that group or that experience so that it's in its purest, clearest form. So 
Yes. Yeah. But I think at the same time, it's about me because I still do inner work. And um, yeah. if I don't trust yeah. the information that I'm receiving, uh, I think somehow I stop doing that inner work. And at the same time, it is for others. Yeah. Um, and sometimes um, it is uh, uncomfortable or difficult to um, to trust and to speak your truth, especially with specific people. Mm -hmm. um, so, but if it comes from love, and uh, if I express with love, whatever I have to speak to that person, um, I'll do it because if I'm guided to do it, if I hear to do it, if I'm receiving signs, information about specific people, specific uh, situations, I have to find a way to express that to that person. Right. And sometimes it is uh, an uncomfortable situation, but at the same time, it's something that I have to do. Sure. Even sharing information about me, I remember one of my um, light language videos for the collective. When the first time that I said I am a guardian angel, I was afraid of what people would say about that because I remember I did a drawing with my wings and um, I was afraid, but I shared the information anyway and everything went perfectly well. So it is, again, in a work, interesting. So. Yeah. Did you draw before? I mean, were you an artist before? Were you able to? So you, but, so I've seen some beautiful, I, I posted just one that looked like it was a pencil, but another one that was, had a little more cover and they were color and they were quite beautiful. And I seen some other things that you've been posting and it's, yeah, it's very beautiful. So you never did that before or had any kind of artistic. I, I did it in school, in high school, um, but I'm not like this professional uh, uh, painting or, draw, uh, or drawing, but yeah. I do love that art parts. Um, and then uh, again, with light language, everything becomes very easy mm -hmm. because I just grab a paper, I, I grab the, the, the material that I want to. Sometimes they are very specific. If it is a pencil, if it is a pen, and what what should I draw? And uh, I just I just draw. Sometimes uh, I have uh, an element, I have a vision of uh, a symbol or uh, whatever I have to draw. I start with that one, and then everything flows naturally. They they provide me more information. They tell me to write something or to use specific colors. Everything flows very naturally. Do you think that the written language is for you? as an activation to be seen or is it just an expression in the moment of what it whatever it is that you needed to express and get out do you know what I mean? because, because there's a sort of permanence that you don't have after unless you record a, a speaking or unless you make a video of the hand gestures you know there's no permanence to it but when you put it on paper and until you throw that paper away or burn it or whatever it's 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 documented and and, and permanent yes yeah. um depending i think it depends on the situation um if it is for the collective whatever i'm writing or drawing it is for the collective yeah. um if it is something for me i don't think i ever did a drawing for myself but if it is for myself whatever I'm writing, painting, drawing, it is for myself. So I think it depends for whoever it is. Mm -hmm. And I always keep my drawings. I always keep my drawings. So and the I actual vigil, actually the, the seeing of it, the vibration of the intention of putting it on the paper, and then mm -hmm. the, that's why I know that everything, I mean, everything does reduce down into sound. Color reduces into sound. Everything is truly a sound vibration because vibration is only one thing and it can be expressed in many different ways. But so the sound of the, even though it might be silent on the page, it still has its, it still has its subtle working that it does upon, upon the visualization of it, upon seeing it, you're getting the the inform or the, whatever that is, whether it's information or just some sort of, uh, yeah, how do you call it, energetic adjustment or attunement 
from just the visualization of it. And there's so many that I see of people. There's so much coming out. I, I have to wonder, like, <laughs> what's what's what is all this tweaking, and what are all the what are the things that that are being expressed by all the different people? Do you have any clue when you make the when you write it down what it is or what it's for? Sometimes I, I remember I started drawing in the beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. and it was with the help of a friend, a French sister. She provided me the codes for that. And she said, in a few months, you're going to start drawing. And less than 24 hours, I was starting to do, I started to do my first drawing. Yeah. So I shared that. Um, and I remember at the time, I had no idea what I was drawing. I didn't, I was receiving, um, mm -hmm. I wasn't receiving a lot of information. These days, I receive information. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I did a drawing, and it was... Um, Do you have it? We can hold it up, or...? Yes. Yeah. I channeled um, yesterday. And uh, it Just hold uh, it for I, still for a second, so the camera... Yeah, okay, well... I started... Uh, it was with... Uh, this was just only... I work with um, sort of some other one. Mm -hmm. And everything, uh, it was very natural, uh, everything. And um, sometimes uh, I'm receiving uh, the information uh, of uh, the title, let's put it that way, of the, the drawing. And um, even with specific, uh, specific elements that the drawing has, sometimes uh, I put a letter description, description of, uh, what it is that that specific part is um, but they provide me mm, sometimes information uh, of what it is right I, I just you know it's interesting because I don't uh, I don't necessarily think I write light language but I get I do stuff like this which is really kind of a messy uh, doodle as, as far as I'm concerned <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, let me see. Like, I mean, this is the kind of stuff I get constantly um, that I'm just, as I'm working, I'm just constantly writing. And I'll just show you, like, as I, as I sit, and I do a lot of psychic readings, um, a lot of them. Um, this is what I'm doing as I'm giving psychic <laughs> readings. Tons of spirals, tons of connective uh, stuff, tons of, you know, it looks like, this is how my the inside of my brain looks too. So just you know, it's it's kind of it's kind of busy in there. But but what's interesting is that because I'm constantly dealing with energy, I'm constantly dealing with spirals, and I see spirals very very prevalent within almost everybody who does uh, yes. does light language. So, but I don't claim to do light language. I claim to have a very um, active. Uh, but it's but it's uh, how do you say it? It's very spontaneous, and I have no forethought about what I'm doing. My, none of mine is sort of beautiful and artistic looking. But you know, you but, know, it doesn't matter because sometimes uh, my drawings they are not perfect, and sometimes I complain to myself, and then I hear, "Don't worry about that. The information is there. The, inf the messages are there, so they are going to understand." And I was like, "Well, that's true." So mm -hmm. I'm not worry about that but um what you said is true there are a lot of people drawing spirals and i've been drawing spirals uh, a little bit more same thing as triangles and um also pyramids but more tri triangles and yeah. um spirals yes yeah lots of hearts as well yeah so when i same. when i was just going to tell you when i first started channeling i started always seeing a triangle in my mind's eye and the triangle is very interesting because it's a symbol of connection it's the actual physical body when you sit down to meditate you make a triangle um very often i was told the triangle is kind of like the phone number for connection that that focus on that energy because it it focuses energy so very you know the because then you're dealing with what's just in the triangle and it's not spread and it's a way of focusing energy. So it's interesting also that you see so many triangles, um, you know, they're, they're throughout also throughout all the different um, belief systems as well. But that's one of the things 
Um, Wendy does a lot of writing. I'm sure if you're familiar with Wendy from Language yes. of Life, she's, she's a chronic <laughs> for years and years and years. She loves synchronicities. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. How are you? Hi, doll. How are you? It's so happy to see you here today. Good. Thank you. Happy to see you too. Oh, I thought she was going to say something more. There's a question. So if maybe if Wendy wants to make some comments in a minute, but let me go through these questions. Um, there's a question from uh, Barbara. She says, do you need to be activated in order to start understanding the languages you speak? Like Jim, Jim Charles, who's the main channel here. He much of the time, if not all the time, gives an interpretation of the light language of the meaning of it when we do our, um, when we do our blessings. And he wants to know, um, do you, do you need to be activated to do the translation? Do you know? The information that I'm receiving is a no. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember I, I don't see as many, uh, I rarely see um, light language videos. Um, I saw Kalina's, I saw a lot of Kalina's videos. I think uh, from her, I received not only information and messages, but also activations, codes and everything else. But I think I have, I think I have a lot of activations and codes and other stuff uh, in light language. So uh, I think as, as long as I keep moving forward, um, I keep um, accessing what I have for that moment, uh, for that specific uh, person or that specific group of people. So um, I think it's in us. Obviously, uh, I probably receive codes and activations from others, but um, I think I have a lot in me right now that um, it's good enough for me. Yeah, I'm sorry, I have the camera locked on me. I don't want to have that on it's there. Okay. I want it locked on you. <laughs> so. Um, there's, I will just say for uh, giving a gift of interpretation is a different gift than speaking light language to Barbara. So um, it's not always necessary with light language to understand what's being said because some things, sometimes not, no words are being said. Sometimes it's literally the sound vibration that is activating uh, or healing or targeting energy or moving energy in a certain way. And it's just the sound it's itself that is the important aspect of it. And then sometimes there's literally like a message. And so the gift of interpretation or the, in, in, in Bible, they call it the gift of interpretation, I think. Um, then that's that's actually a separate thing. And, and it, it, it some people get it and some people don't. Some people get sometimes, I get sometimes uh, information like Anna and sometimes I don't. So, yeah. Okay, uh, there's a question from, uh, do you want to ask your question, Lue? Do you want to ask it yourself? Yeah, go ahead. Hi, thank you. But you have to meet. Well, I see you're unmuted, but I don't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, perfect. Go ahead. There I am. Hi. <laughs> um, I um, I saw your drawing and it blew my mind because some of the things in there I had been shown in a meditation. Mm -hmm. Um, I had a, I was meditating and I was shrunk down really small and taken on a tour inside DNA. And uh, I was shown like a hexagonal structure within the DNA. And then I was shown um, like lines and arrows pointing down like in your, um, in your drawing. Do mm -hmm. you know, do you know maybe what like those arrows mean? I have no idea to be honest with you. <laughs> I know that the eye that I have here is uh, source uh, one mother uh, third eye. I know it's her third eye. And um, I know uh, there are elements here that I know that is vibration. I'm going to show you, to me, uh, the information that I receive on my drawings. Every time that I draw something, this, mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it. I see. Just hold it very still so the camera can get it. So, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. This, to me, is vibration. In my drawings, every time that I draw this, 
is vibration. But I have another type of vibration, which is uh, little waves. That's vibration as well, but a different type of vibration. Other elements, like I have no idea what it is. I just simply I channel whatever I have to channel. But the arrows, I have no idea. To okay. be honest with you, I have no idea. Cool. At least consciously. At least consciously, I have no idea what it is. Yeah. Um, I do have some information I want to share um, about about it. I'm getting a download and just confirmation. You know, everything is really sacred geometry. Um, everything we are actually geometric uh, beings. We are we are made of the pattern. You know, of the, the 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 flower of life and everything. You know, everything originated from the single point and then to the line and then to, you know, the all the different lines and the circles and the squares and every shape that we are, you know, on a cellular level, it just keeps, it keeps multiplying and multiplying until you get actual matter. So I sincerely believe that these uh, light language, written languages are simply microcosm, macrocosm um, expressions of the nature of reality and they are it, it's expressing itself as as a as a, as an energy that needs to be integrated or used or expressed in some way but they we really are literally geometry we are not separate from it i mean the line that we are you know every part of our body is perfectly structured according to geometry and so it goes into ev literally everything so there is there is that part of it that that can make your mind you know bend in half if you really start to break it down because it's almost impossible to understand but if you do understand that everything is in fact geometry to the smallest down to the single original point that started the entire universe then you are with the expression of the, these written codes as well as your spoken codes, which could also be broken down into this vibration of sound and geometry, you are literally tapping into divinity by doing that. And you're expressing divine intelligence in just those codes and just those letters and, and, and shapes and things like that. So I just thought I'd throw that out there to kind of make just to kind of bring it in as opposed to just what is this what is this line what does this arrow mean it, it is an expression of a vibration that needs to be expressed and and has a purpose and a divine purpose so and i, I think it complex uh, and i think it um it helps with the different uh colors and the different sizes because I have heroes who are um, sometimes big and then others who are small. And the color also um, makes the difference. In this drawing, I have three type of three type of colors. I have green, I have gold, and I have blue. That's what I was guided uh, to use. So yeah, there's a meaning, there's a, a piece uh, in each, uh, in, in this drawing, in everyone who's draw, they, it's a piece, a little piece that is in, in, the, in the drawing, in the light language, and it makes the, a whole, let's put it that way. And the colors are also on a spectrum of vibration. The other thing mm -hmm. that I wanted to to uh, make maybe people aware of that they may or may not know, but especially in magic, um, when you talk about a shape, the shape is flat on the page, but actually, the shape is is multidimensional and it has if you could imagine stretching it in every direction it mm -hmm. becomes you know a spiral is a column you know it is a it is a mm -hmm. it's not yeah, sure just, you, you know it's not a flat thing but it is actually an energetic portal uh to to access other energies whether it's earth energy or celestial energy or whatever the energy is, but these things are not just one dimensional lines on a page. You have to always think of them as having multiple dimensions to them. And that's, that's where 
when you go into meditation and people start to have psychedelic images and they feel like they're floating in space amongst all of these things because that's really the the reality of it that's the real stuff this stuff that we're kind of seeing and experiencing we're only experiencing it in sort of three-dimensional life but there's that also fourth dimension and fifth dimension and all of those things that we uh, consciously may or may not have access to so it's also important to keep that in mind so if you could actually take something that you're drawing and picture it in in its truest sense of what it's what it's representing, it can get really, really freaky and exciting and <laughs> wonderful <laughs> really, really fast. So I thought I'd share that with you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Wendy, did you have anything you wanted to express? Because since Are you, you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> this Wendy, is like, this is she absolutely. Has something to say. This is absolutely, of course, my favorite conversation and everything that everyone has said today our our journeys are so similar anna i can't even tell you how it happened exactly the same way for me i mean i think i started speaking them but i can't remember if i started drawing them first or not but i have to say it was the symbols that i saw that bashar had shared many many years ago that activated me and then I started drawing them. Then I started speaking them. Then I started doing the hand signs. Everything that you all have talked about, um, I mean, and the arrows, it's funny because I also draw so many arrows. I have books and books and books of light languages. And that's part, I, so when you guys were taught, I actually will get emotional drawing some symbols because they will show to me, for example, they'll say, one little symbol is our, we're showing you our entire story of a star system and our whole Akashic record in one symbol. I mean, this is how emotional it gets for me sometimes. And they'll, last night I was dreaming about light languages because I knew you were going to be talking about light languages today. That's <laughs> how it triggers for me too. And um, they literally have said to me, lift them off the page and they literally do change our physical blueprint reality and like and like they were talking about dna we can literally take the intention of the dna an uh, intention of the light languages and apply it apply it to our dna apply it to healing apply it to the earth apply it to like you said i heard light languages for the first time and that's all i could think of was that's something I'm supposed to do. And I can't think of anything else I want to do more than that. And it just became that whole thing for me. And the spirals, the uh, everything you guys have talked about, the spirals were one of the very first things that started to come to me. And then the sacred geometry and then the hand signs. The translations come through for me sometimes uh, like... I'll speak light languages, then the information comes through. Then the light language, the information, it's kind of like a, but it's not, a. I don't like to call it in, in a translation because I don't feel it's a translation. Yes. I, it's it an interpretation just, of my, of what I'm, yeah. Yes. And I mean, even all of the, and the triangles, and Bashar first said, the triangle is our phone number. That is how you connect to the Sirius star system. That's how you connect to the Sasani is, is to meditate on the triangle. That's all I could do was do, uh, that's all I could do. I was like, I just want this to happen so bad. And I would meditate on it. I would meditate. And then when I started getting the symbols, I would get all this information and I would literally just be weeping like they're, because they're like talking to me. And some of the pictures like I'll draw and they'll tell, it's like they're, they're little bodies. And they're, they're, yeah, you know, and they're, and they're, it's they're so like, hi, <laughs> you know, they're like, hi, I love you, and thank you so much for connecting with us, and we're so happy to interact with you in this way, and it's, it's kind of crazy, I know. Like here, look at the spirals and the triangles, and I, and yes. you know what, you guys, I ended up using this for my logo, but I just drew it out of the blue, and then just decided that that well it was actually Bree said hey what do you think about using that for your logo and i said well that's a good idea <laughs> so well 
actually i have um asked a friend to um, actually i drew a logo because i have a project uh hopefully um in divine timing everyone is gonna know what it is but uh i draw uh the my logo and the friend helped me with that and actually it has a triangle oh my gosh you know, Yes, well, it has a triangle and then a symbol in there. And I think it's uh, Arturian because I remember when I was drawing that, uh, I heard the information Arturian and I was like, okay. So I, I just drew. And she helped me because she's really good with the technology and that kind of stuff. So she provided me different types of logos and ended up. It's a little bit different the one that I, that I drew, but it's... Uh, very beautiful, very simple, and the elements are still there, the triangle. Even yeah, the that's, that's why I needed help too with the technology. It's interesting <laughs> how I'll, I'll even, you know, when you and I first met in, in, the, in the Keepers, the hangout, I knew right away, like we had this really interesting kind of same kind <laughs> of connection. And I was, so I even said, you know, I said, oh, we have to work together, you know, and it, it, it is interesting how all the similarities with you and I really kind of surprised me because I haven't, I haven't really met anyone else who on all of those layers, like it happens kind of very similarly for me as well. And then taking that into helping other people and, and you know, and doing sessions and things like that. Um, in this one, they showed me, there's also that so, kind, same kind of symbol with the music symbol. But yes. in this, they showed me the symbol five, they showed me this is 5D for five dimension, the feather for the white magic and how we are actually, see, it's kind of like a, a burning, like a, 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 like a fire burning like it's actually fanning the fire for us to move into the fifth dimension um and that's kind of how they explain this whole image to me so mm -hmm. sometimes it's hard to say well what does this exactly mean because it doesn't always have necessarily a you know perfunctory message you know what i mean but it's um sometimes it's these guys came in green because they told me they were to help me with my heart chakra. And I literally started to laugh and cry all at the same time when I started to draw them because they said, we have to be green. And they showed me how they were floating around like little, um, I don't know, <laughs> like little white feathers in the, I don't know. It was really funny. But mm -hmm. so anyway, I just, I, I love, um, what light languages have brought to the earth. I love what they've done for me. I've loved that we've got the opportunity to meet each other. And mm -hmm. I really believe we are. And I also have very uh, Arcturian, you know, that Arcturian connection too. <laughs> and, and the angelic connections and Syrian. And, and so I love all of the similarities. And so I, I knew right away that, that you and I were, um, you know, really <laughs> similar in that way. So, but isn't that, I really believe that, when I started speaking them too, and they wanted me to start spe to, to do it out in the world, it was because they said, you know, it's so you guys can find your soul family. It's so you can connect with each other and learn how to live from the heart, learn how to speak your truth, learn how to be brave enough to allow the words to come through that are just, um, that are just like heart based where you don't have to think about a translation, but you know, it's powerful in loving and healing. Yes. You know? I think when I receive information, I think because we are so used to um, asking, what is this? What is that? What is the meaning of this? Why is this? Why is that? So <laughs> I think they provide me that, uh, that information, those uh, messages, um, so that people can understand a little bit what I am doing or what others are doing. Because um, somehow it helps uh, people to connect more or starting to connect to light language, to what we truly do with light language. And I, I believe we can do literally anything with light language. I, that's, that's why I said in the beginning of this interview, I love light language and I'm loving more and more light language because I never thought in my life that I would be doing this amazing, amazing things, even singing. Uh, I, uh, I'm not a professional, but I was always shy and afraid to sing. 
I sing naturally. I have no problems with doing the tones, the sounds, the, the music. It's completely changed my life in a, in a way that is very beautiful. And the fact that I can use light language on myself, on others, and even in nature, it is amazing. Like doing, working the water, like I usually uh, say, doing blessings or purification, whatever I have to do, it's amazing. It is truly beautiful. Hmm. And it's evolving more and more and more because that's a wish, that's a prayer that I keep uh, putting out there so that I can also remember who I truly am and be more and more my, my authentic self. And yes, Wendy, the fact I am so glad that um, I joined the Peepers webinar because uh, I meet people there that speak exactly the same language that me. They speak like language, and it's good to connect with those people, to know more, to learn more, and also to teach, to help. Uh, it is a good way uh, for those who, who are starting or started like a long time ago, but they have no one else to go. So that's uh, one of the uh, places, because like I said, I think there are other places where you can practice and help others with light language. I know there's someone who has a question. Yeah, it's Barbara. Go ahead, Barbara, if you want to ask your question. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. You guys talking about these symbols and everything and seeing them has really inspired me because I had a, doing a meditation, I saw a wave of those symbols coming to me. And I've just been kind of ignoring it. But now watching and listening to you guys and seeing those drawings, I'm getting chills thinking about it. It's like something's telling me to start drawing them, to draw them. Mm -hmm. So it's really inspired me. So I'm going to start drawing them to see Yay! what comes up. That's what this is for. <laughs> see? Yay. Woohoo! <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> no, but really, usually uh, I, I receive my um, information, my symbols, um, usually when I'm uh, half awake, half asleep. And when I receive um, a symbol, um, I know it's, it's to draw and show to the collective and even do transmissions for the collective with that drawing. So the moment that I start drawing that one that I saw in my vision, they provide me uh, everything else for that drawing. Like I said, the colors, what kind of material should I use, pencil, pen, whatever. Even if it is um, the, the, the size of the paper, sometimes they tell me what size of the paper should I uh, use. So try that. Uh, draw those, those, those symbols, uh, those codes, those activations, and then see what happens. Because it starts with one piece and then everything else falls into place. You try that. And don't worry about if you are um, a good drawer or not. All it matters is that the information that they want you to put there and to share to the collective or whoever you are guided to share, you go and do it. Because the information that they, uh, that person or that group of people need is right there. I just feel very inspired to share something else. It's just because I'm getting downloads now as we're sitting here talking. <laughs> um, that the the vibration itself because we we were saying earlier well mm -hmm. i was saying and we were both saying everything is vibration so the drawing is vibration the sound is vibration the color is vibration the movement is vibration um in hinduism we chant mantra and when we chant mantra we're using sanskrit words which is a light language it was a language that was downloaded by the rishis, the great seers of the um, he, of the Hindu religion, and um, but the thing is, is that what they say when they chant like the name of the deity, like Shiva or Ganesha, they are not chanting the name, like speaking a word. They are embodying the being itself. They are invoking the being itself. They become the aspect of that being itself by joining with the vibration of the sound. And I just got the download that just drawing these symbols 
you are actually these these you're not drawing a symbol like a random symbol you are drawing the symbol of the being or the consciousness that it represents so mm -hmm. you're not just drawing you yes. are invoking and in, and putting into form which is what a creative being does bringing into form and manifestational way the actual consciousness itself so yes. there's so when you start feeling inspired to draw you are in fact invoking those beings those entities that are that so there must be a consciousness that is spiral there must be a consciousness that is arrow there must be a consciousness that is you know squiggle there must be a consciousness that is triangle it's not just random shapes and sounds that have a correspondence it's actually the consciousness itself yes it makes sense uh karen I thought it, it is funny you know. because um thank you I th uh, it's funny because every time that uh before i do anything even for this interview i always do my preparation which is a prayer if i'm guided to meditate i meditate in my language uh I started to meditate uh, in light language. So um, I always speak to everyone and everything that is pure love and light and healing. I don't care who they are and where they come from. So I pray to them so they, they can help me whatever I need. So it makes sense that this source or the angels or the archangels who are beings from another planet uh, another galaxy they come they hear my prayer or if i need help with something because i have my ups and downs they come to me and they help me with that and that's very interesting because i don't think you share that information and it is just not one consciousness is different ones and um, sometimes uh, like in this drawing i have two triangles and then I have a kind of two spirals so it's more than one sometimes I draw um, like there's there's the, the dots there's the green dot so there's different vibrations with different uh, meanings and then different consciousness different beings from different places and that's what um, makes me fall in love even more and want to do more and explore, explore more light language because it is not just heavens uh, that you can work with. There are so many different types of beings who are pure love and light that they can help you with anything. If you connect with them, if you have that wish, that intention, they come to you in divine timing. That's how I, I think right now. So. Um, because they always have something to say, something to share uh, with us, with the collective, or even sometimes just for us personally. So it, what you said makes makes sense. Yes. You're welcome. Oh, so I because we're we're we've got about 20, 35 minutes left. I thought. Mm -hmm. If, if you're willing or if you're wanting to, if you feel lit, led to, would you be w wanting to do some light language activations, mm -hmm. healing and uh, energy sending? And if there's anybody in the YouTube chat that would like or has an issue that they would like maybe Anna to address or send mm -hmm. healing to, um, I think it would be really, really nice for people to have that chance <laughs> with you. Yeah. And, I remember the first and, time that I did work on you. It was a message, I think, from your guardian angels. <laughs> Sorry, that, say that one more time. I remember the first time that I did light language on yourself, on you. Um, on oh, me? Oh, yeah. yes. Um, yeah. I think it was from your guardian angels or spirit guides. It oh, was wonderful. in the end of the, um, the webinar. The yeah. First one, the yeah, it was. So, um, what I what I propose as, as mm -hmm. a way of working is that if people want to get an activation or get something, but you turn on your camera um, so Anna can see you um, and maybe as her energy, you know, it's not necessary, I think, but um, she usually calls out um, to you. 
So I just thought we would let her do that. Um, if you feel inspired to speak a language back to her or if you're wanting to, to speak. But I think what would be great is because of the way she does her webinars and her seminars uh, that she does, I think she should sort of take this over and do that now in that same way. So it would be great if you can turn your camera on. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But And anyone in the YouTube chat that's following, um, you can jump in the room. Maybe Don can put the link there again. Um, you can jump in the room or you can post a request uh, in the YouTube. So I'm going to turn it over to you, Anna, and, and sort of let you go um, Thank you. with what you want to do. So I see the word collective, so I'm going to start with the collective. Mm -hmm. So for those who are watching now live or in the evening in the future, please take a, a deep breath and a ground, please. Connect to source, to pure love and light, please. Iti yara shuru, tu iti yara shiri eru. Shati yara shuru, iti yara hati yara shuru, tu kuan tu kare eru. So Divine Mothers. triangle it looks like indigo indigo color only the lines of the triangle they have that color who the background is black black uh, it looks like um, the night sky So please put your hands with your palms up, please. Uh, 
you're going to receive some codes and activations, healing codes and activations. Mm, I hear from Archangel Raphael, the Emerald City, and uh, from Hilarion um, and the Healing Angels. Ashiri ara ero. I see a very beautiful um green emerald color um that is connecting my heart to your heart. Uh ero and uh, with this connection with this color um you are receiving the codes and the activations the heal utui ia rashita oru iti ita ara era shari ita aru shutu uti ita ara iti ida oru shuti kiti ara era era this um connection has a little bit of gold utu uru iti tikara elevating the vibration utu kuru the healing the healing utu uru iti ia ara shari era ashi i oru osho uti i ashari iti ara iti uru utu kuru uta ara iti iri oru shu iti intaka ari ir oru shuru uru uru era shanti ara iti oru shti kiti iti ara eri shi iti oru utu kutu oru kiti iti iti ara iti oru shutu kuru oru the spirals that I'm drawing in the third eye and uh, the throat chakra, they are gold. Ut ut ar iti iti ar, oru shui iti ar iti oru ushi iti ar ero. Take a deep breath, please, and relax. Ai ar shuru guti ar ar ero, o shui inti ar shiri huru shuru tu kara. Ai ar shuru hui ti arashiri iti kara, ashi iti oru, mui ar eri ira shuru iti ar, oshu iri iri, hanti iri ar 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 ar. So right now only the ili angels, hui i ar shuru utu i ar eru, shari iti kiri ar, shari kiri ar ar. The heart is very precious, they say. I see a, a heart with the colors gold, green, and pink. They are uh, mixed. So I'm channeling the Emerald City right now. Take a deep breath, please. Keep grounding. Another one, please. Right now, I only see a gold color. Utu ar ar represents frequency. Ushu iti it ar shiti it oru shutu kutu oru. Shari tiki hatakar. I see the sun. Utu kuru tukutu kuru the golden sun. Ishiti at ar shuri tukutu oru shiti tiki tiki ar. And I see the word ha. Uti i iru shuti kiti kara the god ra utu kutu at ar. E shuto utu kutu kutu kanta kara kara so sun goes utu kutu ar iti oru shuto utu oru shuto it are erish to kuru to kuru hatakar erish to kuru to intakar it iar shutukur or shuiti itari ir ur wari chikara ir o shuti iti itar eratur o shutur huntukara eshitur hara take a deep breath please thank you It's all for now. Wow. 
That was beautiful. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. I thank you. Thank you for uh, the interview. Thank you for the opportunity. And thank you for everyone who is here and for those who are watching um, live. Thank you. Hi, Moon. How are you? I'm doing great. Oh, mm -hmm. hi. Hi. So would you be, um, because there's that activation, but would you be interested in doing uh, I'll I'll let people open their mic when they feel inspired, um, but to to do some light language back and forth with everyone. Um, so you can maybe start if someone wants to respond to you in light language. Fine, everyone just take a don't anybody rush because it's just a uh, it can get very muted and and loud and also uh, feedbacky. So if you feel inspired to do it. Um, and you start speaking, everyone respect the person who's speaking and then mute yourself and just, and also to um, just be aware that if you start speaking, maybe there's another person. So speak for a few moments and give somebody else an opportunity. And let's just see how uh, much of a beautiful energy transmission we can we can have and, and just let it evolve as it needs to. I think that would be, um, a really good thing to do. Also, uh, Micheline is uh, having a hard time getting on, but she's uh, wanting some activation for her thyroid. So if we can maybe send some energy uh, to that, then that would be great. So I I'll just do this. Um, I'm going to give an order just for the, f the, the, just for the uh, clarity of it. I'm going to start with Anna. I'll go to Michelle. Um, if you... Uh, I don't know if I don't know if uh, Louis speaks light language. If you do or you don't, fine. But maybe I'll just call on each person um, just to let each person. And if you don't want to, you just don't unmute your mic. I'll give you about five seconds, and then, and then we'll go on. Okay, Louis, I'll, I'll just skip you. But if we we'll go to Moon, we'll we'll do it like this. We'll go Anna. Um, we'll go Anna, Wendy. Uh, Lucia, if she can unmute, then Moonlight, then Reinhard. We'll go to Dawn if Dawn feels comfortable. Um, Barbara, if you feel comfortable, and we'll go. To, we'll do it like that. So I'll just call on you, but I'm I'm gonna hold back, and maybe I'll speak some light language too. So when that everyone else, nice, Karen. Yeah. Okay. All right, Anna. We'll start with you. Okay. So um, for your friends, okay. Mm. It's Lucia that's in the chat. She goes also okay. by Micheline. She's looking for okay. a thyroid. So, so maybe if we focus on her and then we'll, then we'll come in as, as needed. I don't know. I see a blue color, very beautiful blue color. Always these colors all, always reminds me of Kendra Michael, but I don't think it is. It's an indigo color actually. Keep breathing um, smoothly but deep, please. And ground, please. It's going to give you a little bit of comfort. Okay. Also healing. For those cells. Shiri ishta uru shui tikiri ara. Shiri it ara. Oshuti ishti it ashtikiri oshtukutu oshtikiri ishtikiri kar. I think it's the Arcturians who are um, helping you with this. Oshuti it ara shiri it ishta katara. Oshkutu tukuru. I see a triangle. Uto kurtikiri it ara. Eshtikiri uto uru shuti uta katara. Shikiri it ata ara. O i ira shiti it ara shiti with the same uh, call takara but there's uh, like a couple of different tones of the blue ushi iti it arshi iti it ut ur hu wiri ira shara ir hu wiri ara shara ir oshtukur hatkiri iti ara ara ir that's all for now okay thank you okay Wendy you're yeah. welcome And I send this also out to anyone, including my dear sister, along with her thyroid, and anyone who is in any type of emotional, physical ill at ease. 
ni alo huyan baka shele haka. Simbol shira liyan bokura ishanadiki atadasite. Sima solu apaki samishara kia li sata. And yes, I wanted to confirm with you earlier that the indigo Arcturian energy is here with their high healing. And uh, Niaposhate, they reminded me earlier that the drawing that was done with the symbol with the flame, Beatoshe Bikialaki, is uh, the symbol of the rising of the violet flame. Masota Shebilaki, Aposonali, Hamakura, Ushete, Kelakia. Poriaca, Le Hishadabu Halakuni and Bagodia Sononia Macolacoria Cuya, Le Hishadabuia Bosone, Lai, Laia Maracoria Poshana Kilacoya Harukua, Mamma Miniana Kulaca, Sashea, Seche, Samurianguá, Ayla, Kisopola Shati, Vila, Lamboa, La Hishara, Sateke, Lalo, Varangoya Shanateo Yana, Ahala, Ahala Ki, Samposha de Kulaki, said the Posola. Lanki Namatea Shadiara. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, um, I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to go to Moonlight first. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Doa. もそわたきよそわなきあにわつきあそらまてきあとわたいやそなたとこあてきよとわまたきあにやまとこあせにや Yatuasa, Namaste. Namaste. Um, I, I will just say I see someone called guiding abundance in the in the room, but I can't actually see them. Oh, there you are. So d would you would you like to speak um, guiding or no? Yes, I guess I could just uh, say hello to you, know, you guys. Go ahead. Yeah, I um um I just appreciate you know what I, I don't speak light language, but I'm actually hearing it. Um, you know, it's like it's a frequency uh, that you know. Um, uh, it just reminds me of the higher frequencies, and I just like to um, be in that energy, you know. And uh, and also, I'm very curious, particularly about Elijah, <laughs> because his energy reminds me of my energy. <laughs> so I feel like. If I, uh, fractal, uh, we are fractals, you know. So, um, but yeah, I, I just, I just like to um, just be in the space and just observe and, and just listen and just be in the frequency, you know. Okay, perfect. Well, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, Lucia, you. did you want to speak your light language, if you can? Sure. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone who has sent this energy. I'm feeling so relaxed and I felt, I know the Arcturians are with me and I also know Archangel Michael is. And so a uh, big hugs to, to Wendy and to Anna. Thank you so much. And to uh, Moon as well. Okay, here goes. 
Asha sakana akaloniki, asha sili, asha sanama kashasi, with much gratitude. Asha sanomi akashasiki, asha sanomiki, with an open heart. Asha suli anama, akasho sili akashasona, akasho sili kilishi sama, akashasoni akala, anomi, akashi, asakola, asha sanomaki. Namaste. Namaste. Reinhardt, did you want to speak your language, your light language? Um blessing. <laughs> the way that he sings is funny, but at the same time I I don't think I ever did like the gestures. I just simply start to dance. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, it's, it's very good. <laughs> very good. Uh, Don, what about you? He left. He didn't leave. He's here. It's you don't have to. You can say yes or no. You don't have to turn no, on no, your no, camera. I'm, I thought I was I was talking, but it, my mic was still muted. Oh, go ahead. Oh, perfect. Great. Okay. Anato, anaheo. Blessings. And that's that's awesome. That was beautiful. Yes. And Barbara, did you want to speak? Okay. <clears throat> Niata Koshino Ata Katiti Apa Kashino Ata Kikisini Ata Kisiti Pata Koshumata Himana Titiki Kiata Pata Katiki Shu Nidia Ata Pata Tiatiki Kia Mata Katiki Chichi Chiki Hat Toku Atiti Apata Kia Tiwata Uwata Tibiata. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, did I miss anybody? Let me see. Uh, Jen, did you want to share anything? Maybe, maybe yes. I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Okay. Let me, um, let me just. <clears throat> Siara Mashika la cara Sanchi Kushoya Made, Lerke Sia Shambia Sikati, Tu Faria Malera, Dikaria Mesumia, Shila Sikata, Somia Sika, Ya Figam Kokumia, Lira Koria Sa, Yatika, Vira Shila Rasuya Piketi, Tumboria, Leria Si, Mushko Kobata, Nasia Paco Maria, Yeridifeco, Maleria Korama. La sunumu mi ashilika kasanti ko mishala siya medeki asuma ya shila kapasan ya fia karia mendiku chiba ya siya rongo samana ya komeria tika vega siya ko komeya tutu liya si asuma ya siya shkoma ya matsam mishile koria pika sikar kasom enda fora mala ya sa shika ko siya mandi yoko miyal oria mani afuno mi asika tasumba di di kam fora mbala Lecomiasante, <laughs> Ia kasanti shompotiga kasia la rati ya sia loko shomia i santi kuma apasha le kose namaste 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 Karen, when I was doing the gestures, you know what I heard? Sound wave. I can hear you. I muted myself. Um, I was just getting some, uh, you know, hearty things and pushing energy and moving energy and, and doing those things. Um, okay. Sorry. I just wanted to say, Karen, it's Lucia, that I, as you were 
basically praying in light language. Yes. Yeah. I just felt uh, when you were speaking, I saw streams of light all around me. Like mm-hmm. I'm in, I'm in um, the cross like position right now, very in, in a more of a, like a subdued. Um, area in the house where there's not much light coming with my eyes closed and so I'm really feeling all of that energy that all of you have sent me I just want to say thank you so much yeah I'm a little bit high right now yeah <laughs> just, I, I, I just, just, that, that is powerful, powerful. Very, very powerful. No, but I mean even from like everybody's light language starting with yep. Anna's beautiful blessing and then going into everybody's sharing and everything so I'm like Ooh. Yeah. I just want to <laughs> confirm that I want to confirm that a shift happened Thank you so much. Oh, good. Very You're good. welcome, Lucia. I hope you get better. Okay. Mm. And that, my friends, is proof of how light language works to help us heal. Yes. <laughs> awesome. So, Anna, because we're coming to the end, oh, we're coming to the end. It goes fast, but. Um, why don't you uh, share your Facebook page, where people can find you? Because you are doing sessions. You can register for a session, tell people what you're doing and how they can really contact you and, and stay in touch. And so my Facebook page is Soul to Soul Alternative Space and Healing. I have different types of, of services. I have uh, light language. Uh, I do different types of uh, light language. Um, and I also do um cards readings in light language and i do also psychic readings mediumship readings and total and oracle readings but most uh, of my services is all about light language perfect and they can come and, and join you on a weekly basis right on a webinar the yes. uh, light language webinar when is that keepers of the codes actually it's two days saturdays uh Keepers of the codes. There on Saturdays we just it's always about light language and um, we share knowledge, wisdom, experiences, all of that. Tuesdays uh, again on um, Keepers of the Codes Facebook. There we on Tuesdays is uh, about practicing light language for those who are starting and for those who speak light language but they don't have. The opportunity to speak with others so you can join uh, us there and just practice your light language it's very simple uh, yeah. usually is um, 8 p.m. Portuguese time um, I can't remember uh, the that's about time. probably are you are you uh, what time is it for you right now almost uh, 6 p.m. Okay, so that would be uh, that would be so I'm an hour ahead. So it would be like one p.m. No, it's twelve. Twelve p.m. EST. Uh, uh, yes, P P D T. Is that right, Don? P D T. I think it's twelve P D T to uh, one thirty P D T. Something like that. That specific time. So it would be three hours earlier. So it would be yeah. It would it would be. You're six o'clock now. I'm um, so right now. It's it's almost one p.m. in the states and Eastern Standard Time. So that would be ten ten a.m. PDT one. Um, no, yeah, it's 12, ten a.m. one p.m. Twelve. Yes. Yes. Okay. But you can, if you are in the keepers <laughs> of the codes, it's okay. If you are in the keepers of the codes, or oh, if you want to join there, um, there's always an event there. Uh, has the time there and the date so you can go there and check right. that out and most I of the time do. they take place in zoom correct the meetings are they zoom? yes okay yes and then i share the link on the keepers okay so go to the keepers of the code group on facebook ask to join uh and it usually probably takes a few hours and then you can join and it's all about light languages sharing it all of its different manifestations that are out there and there's there's about 8,000 people in that group. So it's a significantly uh, big so- resource of light language speakers and there's all kinds of events going on there constantly. So please, please check it out. And then also on Anna's page, maybe you post about your events also on your own page. I'm not sure. Um, no, I usually um, just uh, provide the information, <laughs> but I usually don't, don't do it. I okay. never- 
I started to do it, but then I noticed that uh, rarely people who follow me or like my Facebook page, they don't go there. So I have a few actually, but it's okay. Okay, perfect. All right. So once again, thank you so much. You and few months and see where you are now you know with it and 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 see what's what's happening and and uh this is really i think a very inspiring very peaceful um enlightening conversation so thank you so much for sharing yourself and your openness and and your beautiful heart with everyone and for the work you're doing and discovering and everything like that so thank you so much thank you again for the opportunity karen thank you for everything you're welcome and everyone okay. else was here thank you so much too thank you too thank you um just to uh just to remind everyone next week jim will be back um and uh he'll be doing i think three weeks in a row uh because he'll be going up to lucina's thing in june so why don't you tell everyone again about your event lucia so they can check it out visit if they want to yes well this event is um will be taking place june 21st 22nd and 23rd for the summer solstice and um uh jim will be joining us for those three days it starts in the evening on the friday on the 21st with chanting and channeling and there should be a bonfire if not there will be a candlelight ceremony um, and then on the Saturday will be a full day of galactic energy healing and there will be some sound healing um, as well um, and on the Sunday there will be a crystal bowl concert to finish off the weekend and more uh, gal uh, galactic energy healing more channeling a lot of time to uh, there will be some downtime also for people to meet to chat to share um, to journal I'm um, so just going to be just a, such a powerful heart-centered weekend and I invite you to um, uh, to to see to come to our um, to our event and to um, just uh, to connect with other people of like-minded like-minded souls and also we have a Facebook page called Heart and Solstice so all the information is there my uh, email address is m as Micheline l as Lucia r o c h at videotron v i d e o t r o n dot c a um, and I also have a Facebook page with Michelin Rock, so it's easy to, to I can be found. I will be also uh, posting everything, uh, all the information on the different Hukulo pages, such as the main page, the bus page, and the, I think, the public page. So, yeah, so I invite you all to come. Jim's going to be there uh, all weekend. It's really nice to just chat and, and, uh, and share together. And so, um, yes, to just come over, <laughs> come on over to Canada. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no problem. I, I will tell you um, that uh, for everyone that's here, most of the people here support Human Colony as Hukalo club members. Um, that's a very important part of our of our organization, of the support that we get from the people that you see here every week. Don, who's always doing the YouTube, so thank you so very much for all your work that you're doing, keeping the keeping the chat moving in there and all that stuff, and and just. Everyone who's part of it has a specific function just in the support. And we really would encourage you, if you would like to learn more about Human Colony and support us, you can go to hukalo.org for just a donation of $10 a month. You have all the access to the paid webinars as well as uh, first-hand information on all the many different programs that we have because we have so much going on. Um, the basis of Human Colony is to help people with their connection, help them learn to channel. Um, so many channelers have spun up out of this group and gone on to do their own things and start their own channels and do all kinds of stuff like that. But um, that's where the, the main purpose that we're here is to support everyone in their journey. So please support us so we can support you. And one last thing also, because I don't say it enough, if you're not a subscriber to our channel, please like and hit subscribe. This is Hukalo 2, which is where we do all the webinars. Most of the webinars are broadcast on Hukalo TV channel, but with your support, we can get a little bit more visibility. So please like and uh, subscribe to this channel so that every time we put out a video, it's getting seen by more and more people. So that's really it. It's a lot to ask, it's a lot to take in, a lot to integrate. <laughs> <laughs> but I trust you guys can do it. Um, much love to you again, Anna. So much, so beautiful 
the energy and and I can say this has probably been one of my most enjoyable webinars that I've been part of <laughs> just because it was interactive with everyone and there was a lot of sharing and beautiful beautiful energy being shared so thank you so much once again and yeah thank you I look forward to uh I'll see you soon I'll look forward to you soon. <laughs> that's how I always say <laughs> come on back Don says so, okay. Uh, Don, I'll see you later. Moon, I'll see you later. And Reinhardt, I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, so for anybody who wants to be part of the the, uh, the the light language webinar that's coming up in like two hours, yes. uh, send a quick message. If, you, if you're not in the Keepers group, like hit up Don or Wendy or somebody in the um, yes. in Facebook and they'll, they'll pop the, uh, or Anna for that matter, will pop the the uh, invitation over to you. So everyone, much love to you. Till next week, same bat time, same bat channel. See you, everyone. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Bye. Namaste.